It's time to say goodbye to this microwave. I've been using it for almost five years. Now there's nothing wrong with it. It still works, but I think it's time to replace it. And there are two reasons for that. After years of burning out molds, melting metals, and just using this microwave for different kinds of experiments, yeah, it's looking rough. Second reason I want to change it is because of the magnetron. The magnetron can wear down, if you will, and become weaker. In other words, it's possible that this microwave doesn't melt metals as fast as it used to. But has it become weaker? Well, I don't know, but we'll find out because the new microwave is pretty much the same. The microwave arrived like this, and I suspect it's on the side. Are they crazy? Don't they know that you can't put microwave on the side? This is not needed, but I like to use aluminum foil tape to kind of protect the microwave. This time I added just a little bit. In the old microwave I pretty much covered it all. Yeah, I think we're done. I'm not putting more aluminum foil. At some point in the future I want to add a fume extractor. If I can reduce electricity bill even by a few cents, why not? I don't need a light bulb. I paid 63 euros for this microwave. Not bad for something that you can use to melt metals including iron and also burnout molds. If you live in Europe and you want to try out microwave metal melting, this is the microwave I recommend. It's Severin MW7772. The other one was 7873. As far as I can tell, it's the same microwave. The only difference, this one is gray. It has the same magnetron and it's basically the same. Of course, there could be a chance that they have changed something that I haven't noticed, but I doubt it. The reason I recommend it is because I've been using the old microwave for nearly five years and it's been great. It's true that I changed the magnetron once because it died and it happened, I think, in the first three months of use. Now, it could be because it was faulty, bad luck, or maybe the microwave was dropped in... Amazon warehouse or something, who knows. But once I changed it, the microwave has been working without any problems for over four years. So it's been very, very good. I hope this microwave's magnetron doesn't die in first three months, but if it happens, I have a spare. Not all the microwaves are the same, and I speak from experience. I had two other microwaves similar this size, but they were not as good. One of them was even more powerful, but despite that, it was heating metals much, much slower. And the other microwave died very quickly, and I didn't bother fixing it because I didn't like it anyway. I wanted to do a test where I microwave the same crucible in the same chamber in both microwaves for the same amount of time, and then compare them. But soon I realized that I needed to do it at night, because it was difficult to see the results on the camera. So this is how it looks like after 5 minutes of microwaving. It appears that the new microwave is heating a little bit better, but the difference is not that big. Would you like to see a party trick? I thought so! All the microwaves emit electromagnetic waves and magnetic fields, if you will. I don't know how they're called now. Um, there is a gadget that you might have that can show you these fields. Or in other words, it can interfere with a microwave or the microwave can interfere with a gadget. Can you guess what it is? It's in your kitchen. It's the kitchen scale. If you try to weight something near the microwave, the scale will not work. Okay, let's weight this. 44 grams. Let me turn on the microwave. And the scale 
is now going crazy. Thank you. 